copy information on a pursuit with stolen vehicles. Sirens on and lights flashing as O'Fallon, Missouri police hunt down this stolen Honda taken during a home invasion in St. Charles County. Dash cameras caught the pursuit in real time. To be so close to my house, it's it's overwhelming. This is a St. Charles County block where it happened. I spoke to the victim, but he was too shaken up to go on camera after being hit in the face by a gun while his children and his wife were inside. I'm going to make sure my doors are locked uh, at the end of the day. Uh, just just pay more attention. John Brickner lives next door to the victim on Hawkesbury Place. Just after midnight, a family of four woke up to a group breaking into their home, shattering the back window. According to police, one waited outside in a getaway car while the others barged inside, demanding money before shooting at the man of the house, stealing their car parked in the driveway. Scary, traumatizing. Um, it's you, you don't expect it. Another police car shows one of the cars flipping over on Ledoux Crossing before running off. North Central, it looks like the Started to bail on foot. Four of those five suspects were juveniles, and so I only get to deal with the, the one adult. I mean, it's hard to say he was an adult, he's just 18. This is our first look at the 18 year old suspect being held on a $2 million bond charged with burglary, assault, and robbery. St. Charles County Prosecutor Tim Lomar says he feels the remaining four juveniles need to be held accountable, which is why change is needed in Jefferson City. Right now, uh, we as prosecutors have no input on whether or not a juvenile should be considered for uh, certification to be tried as an adult. I think that's a leg legislative change uh, that could be enacted that would give us uh, some ability to, to be proactive. The remaining juveniles were taken into custody, and Lomar has this to say for criminals targeting residents in St. Charles County. Just know that if they come to St. Charles County and they get caught committing violent crimes like this, they are not going to go home the next day. In O'Fallon, Missouri, Melanie Johnson, News 4.